Hello to all my beautiful viewers out there. And today, we've got to unbox part two of my Christmas vintage haul. Whew, yeah, so, oh my god, it's super, super heavy. But if you guys didn't know, I covered it in a previous video. I bought two vintage coats from a vintage uh, boutique store, I suppose, uh, that curates vintage designer pieces that they can find, I don't even know where, at op shops, I suppose. I don't know how, how good London op shopping is, because if I go to my op shops, I find like a surfing tee, and that's it. There's never anything good in my op shops, so <laughs> I'm buying straight from London all the good pieces, because I'm like, you know what? I want the good pieces. Now, stupidly, I thought in the first video that the package was going to contain both the coats that I bought, but it only contained one. Luckily, two days later, the other one arrived at my door, and I'm going to be unboxing it today. So, what I bought in the first one was a YSL trench coat, and I talked about it in the first video. I'm trying to go for, especially in winter and fall, not now, not in summer where it's so sweaty and hot. Uh, in fall and winter, I'm going to try and go for overcoats and trench, trench coats over the top of basic hoodies, like my uh, Der Schatze hoodies and stuff like that. You know, that kind of vibe, that kind of aesthetic. I've been doing that for a while now with like other vintage pieces, like uh, bomber jackets, varsity jackets, co uh, other coats as well. But for Christmas, I thought I would treat myself with, you know, a bit of a designer coat steal this time around. So I went to Files Vintage, where they regularly, I think it's every week or every yeah, I would say almost every week, maybe every two weeks, they update their catalogue with more pieces that they find. Now, I shopped from them. Um, I made a mistake in the first video. I said that I paid like £40 for the shipping. It was actually like 1750 shipping pounds, and which is like 40 Australian dollars. That was the mistake I made. The shipping was very cheap, all things considered, because they sent 3.5 kilos worth of coats for £1,750. That's like 40 Australian bucks. That's a pretty good deal. I'm going to say three and a half kilos of coats. That's a lot of coat. Uh, they sent that and it arrived in less, oh, I don't want to say less than a week. It, it was it was just over a week, I would say. But that is a very good shipping time for a very good cost. I'd say the shipping is very reasonable. And the prices, especially when they had their winter, uh, sorry, their Christmas sale, were very reasonable for what they were offering. So, what's in this one? I kind of spoiled it in the first video. Uh, what I'm going to be unboxing from this one here today is the Autumn Winter 2001 Stone Island Trench Coat. I've been keen on some trench coats recently and as I said, for Christmas I wanted to treat myself to like some little designer ones. Now obviously these are like a fraction of the cost of actual like 2020 Stone Island coats. Like you go look at a Stone Island coat now on their page, I paid nothing absolutely nothing in comparison to that price that they're asking and that's why I really like buying like designer vintage pieces because you can get that still that bougie name that bougie design but for not the bougie price you know that, that very fraction of the price so I wanted to unbox this today in, on the channel just to showcase it to you guys just in case and oh no well not just in case but just just because and it will be my first Stone Island piece ever I don't actually own any Stone Island at all so I'm actually really excited to try it on because apparently Stone Island is pretty damn good with their quality and I assume they would be so let's see how the 2001 coat hangs up and I'll unbox it all right let's go let's get into it I'm actually very keen Ooh, look at that color that is actually a lot darker than I thought it was gonna be I thought it was gonna be a lighter gray but let's have a look now this jacket 2001 I would have been two years old Maybe learning how to just crawl around on the floor when this was made. So, it's crazy to think that I'm about to try on a coat that's almost as old as me. I actually did want to pick up a couple pieces from their store from the 1999 collection because that coat would have been the same age as me, if not like three months younger than me. That's an insane concept. Like, I absolutely love that idea. And here it is. Oh my god. Oh, there it is iconic iconic there's the stone island logo but this material god damn dude god damn now we do also have to mention this is really grim by the way this is the like tragic part so it is missing a button a single button you can see ooh, two buttons by the looks of it yeah two of them 
So it's missing one there, missing one there, and it's only got the top ones. Kind of grim, but what do I expect from a piece 19 years old? You know, like, I, I know a lot of other pieces are kept in a lot higher condition, but 19 years old, I'm... I'm okay with it losing a couple buttons. And honestly, I wasn't going to button it up too much anyway. I was going to wear it unbuttoned anyway. I mean, that's how you wear the coats, right? But this looks insane. The lining. What the heck is this? Cigar holder? <laughs> a, little bit, a little bit of a cigar holder, you know? <laughs> imagine. Imagine. I don't think that... That's not going to fit a phone. I, oh, hold on. Where is it again? Yeah, okay. In two th Okay, this down here. 2001. That probably would have fit a flip phone you know that probably would have done it modern day though modern day that's not gonna fit a phone that's not gonna do it the, uh, is there a pocket no okay well no inner pocket and this is not on the other side no nah, it doesn't look like it yeah no inner pockets <laughs> uh, yeah obviously Stone Island couldn't well maybe they did but I bet you they probably didn't they didn't predict how big phones were gonna get so I can understand why the pockets on the inside aren't that big. And that is the one downside to buying vintage jackets is those vintage jackets, they were meant for like small little belongings, you know, like your wallet, like something like that. They weren't ready for 2020 and 2016 onwards phones where they're like six inches, you know, like massive, massive phones. But I should, oh my God, what the, what? Oh my god, wow. I'm just sorry, I'm just looking at the buttons and the detailing. This is crazy. I'm gonna try it on even though it's like 25 degrees. Holy moly, that is really big. Let's try it on. Ah. Honestly, I'm super keen to wear this kind of piece like under a hoodie or something. But oh my god, look how long that is. Bruh. Bruh. This looks like an army coat with that like... Oh, there it is. I'm trying to like... There we go. There it is. That's crazy. That... Looks like an army coat because of the um, Stone Island branding on the side there. But this fit though, this is insane. Oh my god, look at that. Oos. It's Soviet Russia. Like, look at this. This is like... <sighs> Winter coats. Winter coats. Wrong season. You know, the country is on fire right now. Luckily, it's raining at the moment. Thank god. I didn't think it would actually rain today, but it actually rained today. The country is on fire, so this is definitely the wrong season to be wearing this. But you gotta, you gotta, pre you gotta prepare. You know, you gotta prepare for the upcoming seasons when it turns to winter, when you can wear this, because this is a killer piece, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Look at that, Oof. army coat. This definitely gives me a lot of army coat vibes. Um, that's the one downside. So, uh, I have been looking at a lot of other vintage stores as well. One called, I think it's um, Rocket, Rocket Vintage. They're really good as well. The problem with Rocket Vintage is, is that a lot of the army coats, a lot of this kind of vibe, this kind of stuff, it's, it's for smaller dudes. It's for, it's for little airplane fighters back in World War II. Airplane fighters. <laughs> I don't know how to fly a plane. Um, it's for World War II fighters that were like this big. So none of the pieces from Rocket Vintage would fit me. And that's why this Stone Island one really spoke to me because once I looked at the measurements, which honestly guys, if you don't know your measurements, measure your favorite piece of clothing and find out your measurements. It is a lifesaver when you're buying vintage clothing. It's really helpful when you're buying new brands and you just don't know the sizing. Just grab your old, look, I've even got it on standby. Buy, like, buy a tape measure if you don't have one. Grab a tape measure if you do have one and just measure. Just get out your favorite piece start measuring compare it to the size graphs on a lot of brands and stuff like that and that's how you do it because i know my measurements roughly like i have a spectrum on what i know is going to be a tight fit what i know is going to be on a looser fit kind of side like you know you just you just got to measure you honestly you just got to measure and that's how i found out if this was going to be a good fit or not because of the measurements because I looked at the measurements they had. Now the one downside that Files Vintage doesn't have is the arm length. Um, I'm always a bit worried about that because as you know, as I've complained on the channel before, I got the basketball, I got a wingspan of like two meters, or over two meters. It was like 205 last time I checked. So finding a coat that has similar arm spans to that, it gets kind of difficult. But in saying that, this Stone Island one, this one fits a lot better than the YSL one that I unboxed in the previous video, which if you haven't checked out, I can't, you just you just got to subscribe to the channel if you're already not there and go check out the previous video. <laughs> but 
but yeah, no. Um, I'm definitely, and if and if anyone from Files is watching this, thank you so much. I definitely, in the future, will be purchasing stuff from them because this is just sick. This is just exactly what I want down here in Australia, but I can't get it because Australia has no designer anything. I'm just, yeah, I'm just blown away by the quality, by the price. It's very reasonable for what they are offering. It's just sweet, man. It's just exactly what I want, and it's going to work perfect for when winter rolls around. And hopefully global warming doesn't make winter 20 degrees as well, because I want to wear some sick-looking outfits during winter. And yeah, it just ah, this coat especially, this one, army vibes. Big army vibes. You know, it looks like I'm about to go out in the Siberian snow and fight someone in World War II. <laughs> no, it's sick. I absolutely love it. I'm going to take it off, though. Because I'm getting sweaty and uh, yeah, Australia's on fire right now, so it's way too hot. Whoo! <laughs> but yeah, I love it. Um, Files Vintage. If you guys want designer pieces, designer brand names at affordable prices and cool looking pieces like that, definitely hit them up. As I said in the previous video, this is not sponsored. I have no sponsored content at all. I, I just wanted to unbox it to show you my experiences with them, what I've been buying from them, how, what they're like, just in case there's anyone out there that like has never bought from them, wants to know what they're like. For me, the experience has been really good. It's been really awesome. It's been exactly what I want. I make it super streamlined. We've got an app now on your phone. It makes it super easy to browse. I love it. I, I honestly think it's great. Um, as I said, I will be buying more trench coats, more overcoats, more everything like that. Definitely in the future from those guys. Definitely check them out, guys. Uh, but also, at the same time, with me going on about Files London, if you guys know any, like, place, any vintage online stores that also sell, um, you know, like Stone Island, YSL, you know, the Bougia brands, the, like, vintage pieces from the Bougia brands, Drop them in that comment section below, guys. Let me know where you guys shop for your vintage pieces, your more, you know, designer vintage pieces. I want to check them out. I want to check them out. This would be a good place to actually post them and check them out, guys. Definitely let me know in that comment section below. Um, and yeah, I, I, I mean, I want to put it back on. I do want to put the coat back on. It looks sick, but it's just so hot. It's just so, so hot right now. It's just summer. Summer sucks. Go away. Come back, winter. <laughs> just so I can wear nice clothes. Um, but yeah, no, nah, that is a sick piece. I would have liked to wear it a little bit longer, but as I've been complaining, it's too hot. Uh, uh, yeah, there's a couple pieces I'll be looking to get there. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions are on Files London Vintage or the Stone Island coat that I just unboxed. I know it was a very short preview of it, but <sighs> look at my face, man. It's just too hot. I, I'm sorry. I would have loved to do a bigger debut of it, but it's just so hot. It's just so, so hot. But uh, yeah comment section below or on Instagram come and shout at me on Instagram either one and that's it guys that is the all, well that's all the pieces that is all the pieces that is the final part part two of the Christmas vintage hauls they're the only things that I bought myself for Christmas I would love to actually actually what did you guys buy for Christmas what did you pick up I know a lot of people they were picking up some crazy stuff I was reading some of the comments on the previous videos you guys have been picking up some crazy stuff I mean in saying that those two pieces, the YSL trench coat, the Stone Island trench coat, they were crazy pieces. I'm, I'm so, so keen to wear them, but, you know, I've, I've complained enough about it. Um, yeah, I would love to know what you got for Christmas. If you bought from Files London, what do you think of them? What do you think of either of the two pieces that I bought, the YSL coat or the Stone Island coat? How do you feel? Do you like them? Is that your type of vibe or you're not for trench coats? You might, you might be a shorter, shorter dude, shorter gal, you know, you might not be able to rock that kind of stuff. Whatever. Let me know how you vibe, what you, what you wear. Let me know in that comment section below. If you want to come shout at me on Instagram or on Facebook, all the links are in the description section below. I'll also include a Files Vintage uh, URL so you can visit their website. If you want to have a browse of a couple of their pieces in the description section below. Uh, that has been it. Um, to sum it up, I wanted to make this video just to cover what I'm looking to wear in winter and fall, if any of you are interesting, in, interested in that. Um, my experiences with Files London, very good, very reasonable shipping, very reasonable prices for the stuff they're offering. Um, really great. They update the catalogue all the time. I'm definitely going to be coming back and picking up a couple pieces from there. 
Um, and that's it. That's all I really got to say about the unboxing, guys. I, I, I'm, I'm super disappointed. I'm so sorry I couldn't wear it for longer, but look at me. Look at me. You can, you can, Ugh, that's so gross. Nah, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's it. That's all I really got to say about it. So I thought I'd just do a quick video covering that. So until the next sneaker video, guys, until the next streetwear video, I'll catch you later.